But if I choose again, I think I will choose to live <laughs> okay, someone is already asking about the housing for our school. So let's share a bit about that. And I'm living on campus. I'm living at the local and Hannah. Yeah, same. I, I'm also living in the dorm 301 Richmond. And Alice? I'm living in an apartment which is in Long Island City. Yeah, it's off campus. I think it will be a good time to compare like, I oh. mean, like not which dorm is better, but more like this dorm has this advantage or this dorm has this kind of advantage. So, so how is 301? Do you like it? Um, I don't want to skip that question, but... <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> but like, advantages! Living the 301 residence, one of the advantages is we don't, you don't have to pay for your laundry because I heard this dorm is the only one that don't have to pay your laundry and also we have our own cafeteria in the building it's not that much like luxury or like many food to eat but still like you don't have to go and walk like 15 minutes all the way up to UC which is main building so I think that's the good advantage and then this building is new building so it's pretty much really clean and saved so yeah, yeah it is the newest yeah. and let me share a little bit about the advantage the good sign of low haul <laughs> we'll we'll talk about like why we like it or don't like it later. <laughs> so Long Hall is quite close to uh, University Center, which is UC. Although like I know Kerry is closer, but it is not easy to apply for it because I didn't make it. Oh, like and this. whoever expecting to get a single room, like, <laughs> no, you can't get it. I applied so, for a single room for three on one residence, but I couldn't get it. And it turns out um. Most of the single room is for RA in the building. Mm -hmm. So um, if you are looking for a single room, I would rather recommend to look for off campus apartment. RA is like resident yeah. assistant. It's mm -hmm. like the staff. Yeah. You can you can apply for it, but yeah. not, not us. Okay, so I feel like the distance is a main advantage. I always go to school and libraries to study because the room is pretty small, and I I just feel like studying with someone just beside is kind of that thing for me. Oh, also we have a really good like, public place. Like I also study there sometimes. How about off campus? For off campus, I think one great advantage is. I definitely can have my own space because for dorms it's mostly shared it with your roommate but for apartment you can have your own space and then uh, also have, I also have like a laundry in my apartment so if you are if you have enough budget that and you want private space then apartment would be a great option for you because uh, you have to pay for your own electricity, Wi-Fi and stuff but other than that you have your own space and it's more comfortable and some popular choice for location if you're studying in Parson would be like Long Island City, Brooklyn, Manhattan would be a little bit pricey and New Jersey would be a great option too in terms of price point and the time for transport so these are four locations that I would recommend if you're looking for off campus yeah, and we both are thinking about moving to New yeah. Jersey. It's kind of a good choice. Because like, especially for 301, it's the most expensive dorm mm -hmm. among our do like person's dorm. And the price is much, like pretty much like higher, like pretty much expensive than just like living in, living by yourself off-site campus. So yeah, so I would recommend to go out. Cause I'm in a double room, right? And my like monthly price of my dorm is about like two thousand something, and also you mine's like two thousand three hundred five hundred almost. Oh. Like, almost. If you live off campus, you can find yeah, two thousand something, which 2000 is two thousand something. And from one thousand n to uh, mid two thousand something, it's possible for studio. Yeah, and I'm in a double room, and they are having their private space. But for the price, I. Like, Really, if you are coming to New York, you need to check like constantly because I heard that it is yeah, it's, increasing uh, in rising. Yeah. yeah, because after COVID, I feel the price level or something like that. And it's harder for international to live off campus because it takes much more procedure and you have to do a lot of research, but it's still yeah. an option. But yeah, you have to 
take more effort compared to when you choose living in the dorm. So the most um, Jersey apartment that I saw right now is around 2,500 something. But as I said, there are cheaper choices. So I'm still working on that. And if you're new to the state and especially in New York, if you don't have any friends or you know, like family in the state, probably you would like living in the dorm because like still we have some roommates and friends you can make. I chose to live on campus because uh, I was considering about the um, safety and also like making friends. But if I choose again, I think I will choose to live off campus because the room. <laughs> Same, because I guess just like personally not my thing. I feel like like in terms of the safety problem, like it is still safe off campus, right? Yeah, like, my my law university is pretty safe, I would say. Yeah, I feel like it is not that scary yeah. in Manhattan or maybe like in New Jersey. I heard my Chinese friend said that it is really safe. And also person support for um, some percentage of NP like train like pet. I didn't from know that. Did to here. Really? Oh really? Yeah. If you check oh. on the my new school website, oh, there's a okay. <laughs> person student after you graduate. Yeah, that's true. But like, <laughs> if you guys just thinking to come to New York for the university, like for your master, then probably you will consider that. Yeah, consider to living in the Jersey too. Yeah, and the reason that I prefer off campus is because the room is so small, and you really need to be <laughs> just so small and. Absolutely. You're always at home because we don't have that much class and maybe like we hang out sometimes but the most of the time you like I do my own project or maybe doing assignments at home and like nowadays I always need to go out like come here to school or maybe go to the lobby in my dorm and I just like just too small for oh. me. And you really need to be lucky to have like good, good roommates because you know we're studying internationally in New York there are different people from all cultures and the culture may be different I also want to mention about this because you, ha I, I guess if you're looking for a dorm you have to fill out some survey like your preference on your roommate like if you're a morning person or a night person like you have to type all those kind of questions but don't believe that because <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> like anyway it's totally different to what you expect so they're not matching yeah i would say you need to match yourself yeah like although you filled up the survey they won't match like the early birds together they will only show on your profile when you are choosing the uh, rooms and maybe you can select between them but yeah we cannot really believe in yeah. that system so maybe you can just find a friend as a roommate yeah. that someone maybe from the same country will have like more similar lifestyle if you're considering living in the dorm make sure you apply as soon as possible because oh. there is no room that you might want to get in so you mean dorm yeah but i think they have a deadline yeah deadline but like as soon as possible if you apply then probably you can get the room that you want because like i apply really really early so I I think I'm the I was the first one who choose the room. But I, I thought that it was only depends on luck. Like no no no. What? Like it depends on when you applied for it. So oh. even though I apply on the first day of the like the opening time opening day, I couldn't get think of room. So interesting. I didn't know that. So the advantage of on campus is the location yeah. And then other than that, we all prefer living off campus yeah. Yeah. Yes But and it's up to you guys Yeah, so, up yeah. to you Up to you Hello <laughs> Although we prefer living off campus There are still some advantages that attract my friend Alina to live on campus Let's ask her a little bit more uh, Alina also uh, lives at Long Hall, which is the same dorm as mine. Because there's like, different facilities like piano room, fitness room, and your lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like I like to play piano, so it's like very suitable for me to live at Long Hall. How about if you can choose again? Will you choose to be on campus or off campus? I think I will choose on campus because mm -hmm. that block house is near the school. Yeah. yeah, so we can just walk directly to the school or walk, come back directly in, like, 10 minutes. in 10 minutes. Yeah, and yeah, like, and there's also piano room again. You play the piano a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, I play piano a lot. Oh, well, you subject choosing the roommate before. For me, because I know no one why I was selecting the room, but like when I came here and met my roommates, like it's kind of good when you have great communication, conversation with them. A little is kind of lucky, like mm -hmm. you match kind of really well with your roommate. Yeah. So if you don't choose, you don't choose a roommate before you get that luck. So yeah. It depends on luck. Up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Bye bye again. Bye. So this is the last stop of my apartment tour for the day and I looked for several choices in New Jersey like in Jersey City and also one in Harrison The Harrison one is kind of too far for me because I kind of like to hang out with friends often and mostly we meet at Manhattan so like in Jersey most of them which is like a better one kind of not better one it's just like a normal studio it's kind of like 25 something and this one is having like an amazing view but it's so like expensive for me it's kind of 27 a month I'm like what and you still need to add the electricity and also something like oh, I don't know you need the guarantor or something I'm not sure so if you are thinking about moving like living off campus maybe it is kind of a little bit more expensive than my year I will say since like we kind of are under COVID for the class of 2022 and there are kind of more discounts but not now because people are coming to New York to study so yeah I would like to make a brief summary right here since there's just too much information in this video. The advantage of living on campus will be the location. It is close to the school and also close to the main districts such as like Soho and K-Town. And it is also easier for foreigners who have like never been here to find a place to live. And as for the disadvantage, oftentimes you have to share the room with other roommates. Uh, the price point is around like 21 to 2500 for double rooms and more than 2800 for single rooms. In terms of living off campus, the price differs according to your concerns. It will also be like more complicated for foreigners to find a good one, but you can find a broker online and they can help you to find a good one. If you can speak Mandarin, there are a lot of brokers on the social media platform Xiaohongshu and you can search for them. If you are concerned about the price, uh, I suggest that uh, you can share the apartment with someone else. You can find several choices which are lower than 2000 Like in most situations, you can own your room, but you'll share the living room and kitchen with your roommate. And if you want to own the entire space, like including the kitchen, you can look for studios. But the price pretty much depends on the location. So like for more convenient and safer areas, the monthly price will be like more than 2000 And most of the studios in Manhattan are more than like 3000 a month. Since I'm concerned about the location because I sometimes go home at midnight and I prefer newer buildings, also I'm only looking for studios. 
So the ones that meet my needs in Jersey City are mostly around like 2500. So yes, that's a little summary. I hope that this video will give you a brief idea of living like on campus or off campus and I will not talk too much about how right now since I'm a bit busy but maybe in the future I will have a blog talking about finding a house in New York or New Jersey. In conclusion, if you ask me do I prefer like on campus or off campus, I will still say off campus since you know like uh, on campus it's like 22 or 23 off campus here in jersey city is around like i would say 25 26 which is quite similar all expensive and i will have like a really bigger place i can invite my friend here and have my own like study space so probably i will still choose off campus but just Mm, don't be surprised about the housing in New York and New Jersey and good luck to all of you I hope that you can find a really great apartment, studio, or like dorm to live at and that's it, have a great one